Hello. This is new 10 ton class Sakai soil compactor, model SV520. I'm going to walk around the roller and uh, show you daily maintenance of the machine, main checkpoints, and in a few steps how to operate the roller. Make sure if there is no visible scratch and damage on the front frame and drum. Check rubber dampers for cracks, as well as vibration motor and hoses for any oil leaking. Check also the bolts and nuts for slack. Check hydraulic oil level on the tank gauge. It must be between low and high mark. Add proper oil if necessary. Change the hydraulic oil every 1000 operating hours. Please check condition of tire and wheels for cracks and damage. Make sure that the wheel nuts are not loose. Look at the roller from backside. Check machine balance and pressure of both tires. If air pressure in the tires is not equal, it will affect operator comfort quality of compaction and safety. Check the left tire and wheel for cracks and damage, as well as check the wheel nuts for looseness. Make sure that there is no leakage from hydraulic hoses and no cracks on the front frame. Check condition of scrapers on the rear and front side of the drum. The clearance between scraper and drum must be 20 mm. Please take a look on the rubber dampers, that there is no cracks and no oil leak from the drive motor and hoses. Check also bolts and nuts for slack. Check pumps, engine and hydraulic components for oil leak and also make sure that there is no coolant leak from radiator and hoses. If you find some dust and water inside sedimenter, remove it. If the radiator is clogged by dust or leaves, clean it, otherwise it could be the reason of engine overheating. Please make sure if there is no oil leak on the left side engine and pumps. Check the coolant level and air cleaner indicator. If you will see the red mark on the indicator, please clean or replace the air filter. Check belt tension and oil level by dipstick. Change engine oil and oil filter every 250 working hours.
When you step up to the operation deck, use both hands for safety reason. Adjust seat, mirrors and open the control panel cover. This is monitor, you can see the fuel gauge, temperature gauge and engine RPM speed meter with working hours meter. On the middle of the monitor you can see warning lamps from the top, they are brake, hydraulic oil, engine oil and battery warning lamps. You can see green lamp when vibration is applied and also you can see green lamp when working lights are switched on. On the right side of the monitor you can find echo compaction mode lamp. This lamp will go on when you move throttle lever to the echo compaction mode position. This is vibration option switch. You can choose continuous or manual for applying vibration. On the manual option you can control vibration by the switch which is located on a forward and reverse lever. This is vibration switch. You can choose low or high amplitude. Use high amplitude when you need compact a thick soil layer. The top one is lamp switch. Turn to first step to light headlamps or turn to second step to light fluid lamps. This is roller speed switch setting. Low speed is up to 6 km per hour and high speed is up to 10 km per hour. Use only low speed for compaction jobs and high speed only for transportation the roller. If you need to change speed range, please stop the roller. When you drive downhill slope, please pay attention that the engine RPM speed it's not over 2500 RPM. It might be the cause of engine overrunning. The red switch is parking brake. Push the switch for applying and release the brakes. You can use parking brake in case of emergency. This is forward and reverse lever. Moving this lever, you control the machine speed and direction. Vibration switch is equipped on this lever and you can apply and stop vibration by pushing this switch. This is throttle lever which has three positions, idle, maximum and echo compaction mode. When lever is set to echo compaction mode, engine keeps 1900 RPM and fuel consumption is reduced up to 20% while maintaining full compactive performance, which means vibration power is same when the engine power would be 2300 RPM. Echo mode lamp is on on this setting you can get high compaction performance in this economical way. After you crank engine, check the monitor that warning lamps are not on. Keep the engine at the idle speed for a while, then increase the engine speed and move the machine to the job site. You can only start engine when the forward and the reverse lever is at the neutral position and parking brake is applied. This is emergency brake pedal. Please use the brake only in case of emergency. When you push the brake, machine and engine will stop quickly. To restart the engine, 
you have to return forward and reverse lever to the neutral position and apply parking brake switch. Now you know that you can check and operate the machine very easy. This new Sakai soil compactor is a powerful machine. It has a vibration power up to 26 tons, which is equal 255 kilonewton. So you can finish your job quickly. Operate the machine correctly and get benefits from Sakai SV520 roller. See you and good luck.